In this second video on the Kings of Rome, we will be covering the historical Kings of Rome. Although this is very difficult, as the history and mythology often blurs together in any account of very early Roman history, I will try to discern which areas are historical and which mythological. To start, the first king according to most sources was Romulus. As there are very few of these sources that betray him outside of myth, it is impossible to know whether he was a real figure or not. As such, none of the deeds supposedly placed upon him were likely done by him or done at all. During his reign, one of the major events was during a period when Rome had a lack of women. Romulus realised that the city could not continue if this problem persisted, as the Romans would be unable to create children. So he made a plan by which he would steal all the Sabine women. The Sabine peoples lived in the central Apennine mountains in Italy. Romulus's plan was to distract all the men with a large celebration in the name of Neptune before sending another group of Romans to steal the women. It is impossible to know whether this happened or not. The se second king of Rome was Numa Pompilius, who was himself a Sabine because of a peace treaty between Romulus and the previous Sabine leader, in which they became one kingdom. A Roman and Sabine ruler would alternate the leadership when the old one died. Apparently, he came into power when Romulus was killed in a violent storm, although it is most likely Romulus was murdered. To make sure that he was not blamed for the murder, his reason for deifying Romulus was most likely to make it look as though he would have not wanted to kill him. Although some other acts have been attributed to him, such as a religious calendar and many religious ceremonies, he also apparently made the Vestal Virgins, yet this does not make sense, as Romulus's mother was supposedly a Vestal Virgin. Although Romulus's, although Romulus's mother being a Vestal Virgin is possibly false too, it has more recently been found out that he did not do most of the deeds attributed to him. Instead, it is more likely that all of these acts were not done by him, but rather a slower adaptation of religion. The third king, and the final one we will be covering today, was Tullus Hostilius. Very little is known about Tullus Hostilius, with sources often saying that he organised the military. Although this does not seem a greatly outlandish claim, there are conflicting sources, and, as is sadly so often the case with such early history, there are few sources, and the ones which there are very often conflict. He was also supposedly meant to have been very warlike and waged wars against many of the neighbouring cities, which were Fidenae and Veii. He also was supposed to have destroyed Alba Longa, which was the kingdom which Romulus was supposedly born, if you remember from last video. Although again, we do not know whether any of this really happened, and it is just likely a myth as it is factual. This has been our second video on the Kings of Rome. There will be new videos coming very soon, so make sure to check for the next video. Our next video will be our final one on the Kings of Rome, and we'll cover the final four kings. For now, Wellete et Ave SPQR!